South Korean government to open 1,080 new classes for preschoolers this year. In a bold move to reinvigorate its economy, the South Korean government has decided to open 1,080 new classes for kindergarten levels. No, it's probably not to invigorate its economy, but something's not right. If you didn't happen to catch my uh, podcast, How Gone Startup podcast on Monday evening, um, I talked about it in there. Here's a little update for you. It's one of the things I talked about in the podcast. The numbers that I, I found this article on uh, Korea Herald that, that was talking about um, the government opening up uh, kindergarten classes. Uh, and uh, there were some statistics that were given, which were kind of staggering. It said that um, half the kindergartens presently in existence throughout the country were state owned, uh, and the other half were privately owned. And the privately owned uh, kindergartens received about 80% of the local clientele while the 50% of the state-owned kindergartens received only 20% of those children. The state decided to open even more kindergarten classes to have even a smaller percentage of the kids attending. I'm not sure exactly what the purpose is. Maybe they're trying to um, broaden their spectrum and, and maybe they're hoping to offer newer classes, a variety or something, maybe that's what the goal is. Sorry about the spinning, I hope you enjoy that. It's my dog. So the government decided to open up more classes in order to combat the rising number of privately owned kindergartens, which just seems to me kind of counterintuitive, because if you, well, clear, I'm not gonna get into details, it's clear, I think. There's more people using the private kindergartens than the state, but there are more state kindergartens. It makes very little sense to open even more state-owned kindergartens when they already have such a small share of it. So I don't know, maybe that's an attempt to like, really is an attempt to invigorate their economy in terms of, I don't know, job work creation. Whatever the case may be, uh, that's what they're doing. Podcast was kind of a, I don't know, bumpy road. Uh, a few things I learned along, along the way. That's another thing I talked. Coco, can you stop tangling yourself up around me? <laughs> if you want to start up your own business, your hug one, or anything else for that matter, just start doing it. People maybe overthink. I know I was overthinking uh, the process of starting a business here, of starting a hug one here in Korea. Um, and people tend to overthink things uh, unnecessarily. It's not really necessary to have everything perfect and in most cases it's not even feasible to have it done. So just start doing stuff, whatever it is. Just get into the groove of things and start whacking away. And things will fall into place eventually, you can make adjustments as you go along. Uh, last night I, get to, I had the podcast set up and everything ready. I set up some graphics on the OBS and I discovered that by pushing the stream now button you're actually streaming even if you put the video the live feed on private uh, it's recording and then if you switch from private to unlisted and then to live the entire the entire recording that took place in the private session and the unlisted session uh, is now made listed which means that there's about 40 minutes of me just sitting in front of the screen kind of dilly dallying and getting ready um, and that came up on the podcast. So the actual podcast, I've, I've tried to edit it and I'm, I don't know, I, I've done some editing because you can do some post editing in YouTube uh, on your live feed. So which is, that's what I did. But uh, I checked this morning and I was still in its uh, previous version of almost two hours, 40 minutes of which were just idle space holding. So I, I'm hoping to delete that sometime soon. Uh, and, and have a 40, 45 minute podcast sitting up on on the site. And while I was recording, uh, I also realized that my microphone wasn't plugged in. So I was recording through through the speakers on the phone, through the microphone on my laptop rather, which is why the sound through, the, through half of the podcast is um, the way it usually is. Um, 
I was hoping to have the sound a little bit better. Look at that. Golf carts in the park. Woo! I was hoping to have the sound figured out uh, and I plugged in a microphone, but I realized that I unplugged it because when I started the podcast, there was no sound. So I unplugged the mic to see if, if the microphone was actually working or if it was a setting in the OBS um, software that wasn't, um, that wasn't adjusted. And I think that was the case. So I fixed the setting in the OBS, but then I forgot to plug the microphone back in. <laughs> so there you have it. So fun and games until someone gets hurt. Today is Tuesday, obviously. This video will be uploaded tonight, so you'll be seeing it on uh, Wednesday, which is like now. So I live retrospectively through YouTube, <laughs> I realized. Not always, but sometimes, sometimes. Check out these little cool cars. There's only one left. I wonder where all the other ones left went. That's it, kindergarten's blowing up. Oh, the reason why I brought that up is because that's, uh, you know, it's good news for private kindergartens. That means that there's definitely a market for them. And with the government uh, trying to open up more classes, I'm not sure if it's gonna change things as they're struggling apparently as it is already. Opening more classes may not be a very good solution. I don't know if that's gonna work for them. I don't know what the purpose is really, when you really look at the statistics, unless they have something phenomenal in, in the works. Apparently this was a push by the parents and I'd like to talk to the parents that were pushing for it if they're not even using the existing services. I think in an attempt to help the public kindergartens, the government is actually inadvertently helping the private institutions because they're rolling out a bunch of classes on what curriculum they're going to be doing the same program that they have are they like releasing a new program if the old one wasn't working what makes them think the new one will that's it for today thanks for tuning in i'm your host crypto father remember to like subscribe leave a comment below if you have any questions Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this whole uh, reintroduction of new additional classes. Is it, does that make sense? Is it completely ridiculous on, on the state's part? I'd really like to know. Until then, keep fit and have fun. Peace.